and start by choosing a suitable location to build their colony. This decision is crucial for the survival and success of the colony. Factors like proximity to food sources, moisture, safety from predators, and temperature regulation are taken into consideration. Once the site is selected, worker ants begin excavating the nest. They use their strong mandals to remove soil, pebbles, and other debris from the area. The displaced materials are carried away from the site and discarded. Then worker ants continue to create a network of tunnels and chambers underground. These tunnels serve various purposes such as housing the queen, eggs, larvae, and pupae. They are also used for storing food and providing access to different parts of the colony. Ants understand the importance of maintaining a suitable temperature and humidity level inside the colony. Ventilation are created to allow fresh air to circulate, ensuring a comfortable environment for the entire community. Ant colonies function based on a complex system of division of labor. Different cars of ants have specific tasks they perform. Worker ants are responsible for construction, hunting, and caring for the brood, while soldiers defend the colony against threats. The materials used in ant colonies depend on the species and the environment. In many cases, ants use a combination of soil, plant material, and secretions to build and reinforce their structures. Ants continuously maintain and expand their colonies as the population grows. They repair any damage to the tunnels or chambers and adapt to changes in their environment underground to protect themselves from predators and harsh weather conditions. Some species also use natural obstacles or employ defensive strategies to safeguard their nests.